Welcome to another video from SkiBoatPartsOnline.com. This is Ron and in this series we're going to be doing a restoration on a 1988 American Skier Deco Edition. Kind of a rare bird. Why do we call this a rare bird? Well, the Deco Edition was built during the famous Miami Vice TV show era and uh, we built a boat that was pink and teal and uh, was called the Deco Edition. It has the flamingo on the side of the boat. That's what uh, we built back in 88 and 89. The boat in the very opening scene uh, was from our brochure from 89 and this particular boat could very well be the same boat that was used in that uh, brochure shot. Uh, we built less than 20 of these uh, during that time period. Um, some were pink and teal on white and some were pink and gray on white. But the first thing we're going to do with this old girl, she's 30 years old now uh, and has seen a lot of skiing time, is to assess the gel coat. Uh, what's a, what we can do with it, what we can't do with it, uh, and go from there. Now if you're run, wondering where the rub rail is, uh, we removed that yesterday. The, it was raining all day so we couldn't get the boat out to, to get the pictures. Um, but uh, the rub rail has been removed already. Next is to begin removing some of the vinyl tape uh, that's on the boat. This is the rear port side rear sweeps decal. It's about three feet long and has the uh, angled stripes on it. Uh, we use a uh, stripe, 3M stripe remover wheel to remove these. Uh, and what we're finding below is some uh, original pink color. This is the same port side midsection. Uh, we've removed uh, some of the striping in the top and the bottom and compounded, wet sanded, compounded, and buffed a section here. And what you see are three different colors of pink. Uh, the oxidized color on the left and the right. The center section has been brought back to some of its glory and luster and color. But the gel coat that was under the tape is the original pink. Uh, on this, this boat we cannot bring the gel coat back to its original color using wet sanding and buffing methods. On the foredeck of the boat, we found the same thing that we found on the sides. Uh, here the forward section has been uh, wet sanded, buffed, compounded. And you can see in the center section the stripe, uh, the three different shades of pink. Uh, on the left you'll see the original oxidized as it came in. To the right of that you'll see uh, a compounded look that looks much better. But underneath the stripes that have been removed is the original pink. Now what is interesting on this deck, and it's throughout this whole boat, uh, the pink stripe here is the original color, but the tear in the middle uh, was some of the top vinyl tape that had been torn years and years ago. And the sunlight has actually faded uh, uh, around where that tear is. But what's hard to see in this video is the raised section. The original deep pink uh, is much taller than the surrounding surfaces. The surrounding surfaces have actually shrunk uh, where the material, the gel coat that was under the tape was protected from the sun and it did not shrink as much as the surrounding surface. So this will have to get sanded down and made flush uh, to uh, restore this deck. Here's a shot of the transom taken yesterday uh, while the, before the rub rail was removed. Um, it's pretty rough. You're going to see uh, in a minute here uh, the left side that we're going to try to sand and buff and polish up. Uh, for those uh, who are interested, this, this particular boat has two aluminum reinforcing plates that have been added alongside the stern eyes. Uh, that's to accommodate uh, a pair of uh, flush lifting rings on the aft deck. Uh, this boat is uh, hung in a boathouse and these uh, pop-up uh, lifting eyes uh, help him uh, store it in the boathouse. Kind of neat. 
Here is the port side transom after we have uh, worked this gel coat over with compound and wet sanding. Um, this gel coat is not cooperating. It is not coming back. Uh, uh, it's uh, definitely a candidate for refinishing. In addition to the gel coat fading in all of the colors, uh, we also have the dreaded blisters. Uh, the hull sides uh, at the water line are blistered from front to back. Um, this is not something that will uh, buff out. Uh, so this will need to be addressed and you'll see how we deal with that. Uh, this boat is a candidate for complete refinishing. In upcoming videos we will show you uh, the method that we're going to use on this boat and the reasons why and how we're doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned. There are several more videos on this project coming. Thank you and God bless.